boys and girls, it's Miss Jenny here again. So good to see you this, today. By the way, I know some of you that are listening to this probably are used to me and know who I am because you come to my story times. But for those of you that don't know who I am and don't come to my story times, I work for Worthington Libraries and I do my story times at Northwest Library. But because we're closed right now, like all libraries, I just thought I would do some online story times for you so you have something to listen to and we can still connect during this time. I miss you guys so much and I can't wait till we can be back together soon. And that will happen, but for now, you're going to have to take me this way and this is how I'm going to have to see you too. So let's start out by saying hello to everybody with our hello song, alright? Okay, let's get going. Hello everybody, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody. How are you? How are you today? Hello everybody. Pat your heads. Pat your heads. Pat your heads. Hello everybody. Pat your heads. Pat your heads with me. Hello everybody. Tap your shoulders. Tap your shoulders. Tap your shoulders. Hello, everybody. Tap your shoulders. Tap your shoulders with me. Hello, everybody. Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Hello, everybody. Touch your toes and have a seat with me. How are you guys? Hey, today I'm going to tell you a story about animals. And I want you to listen to this ant, what sound this animal makes. So this can kind of tell you what this story is going to be about or what animals are going to be in our story. Okay, ready? Okay, listen to this and see if you can tell. <laughs> Did you hear it? Can you guess what it is? Do you want to listen one more time? Let's listen one more time. Well, did you guess goat? You did? Good job, because that's what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you a story about the three Billy Goats Grow. And I bet maybe some of you already know this story, because you know what? When I was a little girl, my mom and dad told me this story. And when our sons were little boys, we told them this story too. I have to tell you, my husband told the story to them much better than me because he would sing it to them. I'm not going to sing it to you because I can't do it near that well. So I'm just going to tell it to you. Okay, so it starts off like this. Once upon a time, there were one, two, three billy goats grow. There was the little billy goat. There was the big billy goat. And there was the great big billy goat. Now these three billy goats were brothers and they lived on a hill. And on this hill they were munching away on their grass when suddenly little billy goat said, hmm, I'm going to go across that bridge to his brothers and I'm going to go to the hill on the other side because that grass looks better than this grass. Oh, a big billy goat gruff said. And the biggest billy goat gruff said to him, mm -mm, little brother, don't go across that bridge. Why not? Well, because there's a troll that lives under there and trolls eat billy goats. There, there's no such thing as trolls and they want, they want to eat a billy goat. Oh, yes, they would. I'm going to go across that bridge. I don't believe you. Okay, now here's where I need your help. Now, as this billy goat goes across the bridge, I want you to go like this. Trip, trap, trippity, trap, trip, trap. Because that's the sound he makes when he goes across the bridge, okay? Ready? Okay, you're on. Here you go. Trip, trap, trippity trap, trip, trap. Hold! Who goes there? The little Billy Goat says, It's me, little Billy Goat. Oh, no, you're not going to cross my bridge. I'm going to come and eat you up. No! Are you sure he's coming? Yeah, yeah, let me go. Okay, be off with you. So, little Billy Goat goes trip, trap, trippity trap. Are you tripping and trapping? 
Okay, Chip, Chuck. Over the bridge he goes to the nice big green hill. Ooh, that grass was pretty good over there. Well, it isn't long until Big Billy Goat says to Great Big Billy Goat, uh, I think we better go over there and check on little brother, make sure he's okay. Great Big Billy Goat said to his Big Billy Goat brother, you can go, I'm staying here. Well, okay, I'm gonna go then. So the Big Billy Goat brother goes across the bridge with a, here we go, trip, trap, trip, trap, trippity trap, trip, trap. When all of a sudden, halt, who goes there? It, it, it's I, Big Billy Go. Oh, no, you don't. You're not crossing my bridge. Well, I, I'm going to cross the bridge because the grass over there is so much nicer, and I, I need to go there. I, I'm really hungry. You're not crossing my bridge. <sighs> Listen, don't, don't eat me because my great big brother is about to come. And he has so much more eating on him. He will be so much tastier than me. Please, just let me go across the bridge. Oh, let me think about it. All right, be off with you. But don't cross my bridge ever again. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, here it goes. Trip, trap, trippity trap, trip, trap, trippity trap. He joins his little brother. Hi, little brother. See, I told you the troll wanted to eat you. Yeah, but I don't know. Our big brother's gonna come next and I hope he doesn't eat him. He won't. So then, the great big billy goat decides, all right, I better go check on these two little brothers of mine. I don't wanna do it, but I have to admit, this grass isn't very good over here anymore. And I am hungry for some nice grass. So great big billy goat goes, okay now guys, you gotta make the sound big, cause he's big. Trip. Trippity trap, trip trap, trippity trap. Well, this time the troll doesn't yell. He jumps up on top of the bridge and he says, Halt! Who goes there? Oh, it's I, great big billy goat. You want to make something of it? Yes, I do. You're not crossing my bridge because I'm going to eat you up. Oh, no, you're not, Mr. Troll, because... I am going to. And with that, he takes his big horns, he takes his big head, he butts his big head with all his might, bam! And he knocks the troll into the river. And then the big billy goat goes trip, trap, trippity trap, and joins the nice big green hill with his two brothers. And you know what, boys and girls? Whenever the troll, the billy goats, wanted to cross the bridge, that troll didn't bother them. He let them go right across to the other side because he hid from them every time they go across. Thanks for listening to that story. I love that story of those billy goats. That little billy goat was pretty, pretty feisty, wasn't he? Hey, let's sing a song. You guys remember that song about, oh, let's see, five little freckled frogs sitting on a speckled log? Here, let me refresh you. Five little freckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Well, we're going to change the words. You know I was going to do that, don't you? Okay, so we're going to sing three little billy goats living on a big green hill, eating the most delicious grass instead of bugs. And then they're going to cross the bridge where the big green troll lived, okay? All right, let's try it. Get your fingers out, get your hill out. Here we go. Three little billy goats living on a big green hill, eating some most delicious grass. Yum, yum. One went across the bridge where the big green troll lived. Now there are two billy goats, two little billy goats, living on a big green hill, eating the most delicious grass. Yum, yum! One went across the bridge where the big green troll lived. Now there is one billy goat. One little billy goat, living on a big green hill, eating some most delicious grass. Yum, yum!
he went across the bridge where the big green troll lived. Now there are no billy goats. <laughs> Good job. Hey guys, I have an idea. You know, when you're home and you're bored and you want something to do, what if you get out a piece of paper and draw this story? And then you can tell the story to maybe your sister, your brother, maybe your mom and dad, and you can be a little storyteller today. And you know what? If you do draw that picture, which I hope you will, will you please save it? And when we're back together at Northwest Library, will you please bring it and show it to me and tell me the story? Because I like to hear stories from you too. But right now, oh, it's that time. Wave with me. Wave high. Wave low. I, here. I, I think it's time we gotta go. Wiggle your fingers. Wink your eyes. And blow a kiss and wave goodbye. Until next time, have a magnificent, wonderful day.